what caused the mass extinction event. This has to be a global mass extinction event. So even though there are major tsunamis and major earthquakes and hurricane force winds and, and thermal energy and all that kind of stuff that would kill things within maybe 1500 kilometers or so, you have to kill things on the other side of the planet to make the mass extinction event. And here's a, uh, here's a couple of models. This movie is gonna play here on the left. Um, this is actually showing Europe 6,000 kilometers away from the impact site. And what you see moving through the atmosphere is ejecta from the impact. Um, and the, the yellow dots are meant to be bigger ejecta, like the spherules or shocked minerals, and they go raining down uh, to the surface. And that is thought to actually heat up the, surf, the, the atmosphere as they go raining down through. Um, and so that actually may have caused a fairly significant amount of temperature spiking on the surface of the planet maybe enough even to light fires of some dry materials and things like that. It's probably not global fires, but enough to light some fires potentially. But perhaps the more important part here is not that initial effect, not those yellow dots, and here they come back on your screen again, but all the red dots. So these are the very fine scale materials. Um, so these are things like um, aerosols potentially that are put out or dust or even soot from the impact site itself that are very, very small. And so they stay up in the atmosphere um, for years. Um, and, and depending how long they stay up there, what you would expect is possibly blocking out the sun, causing the temperature actually to get much colder um, and that that may actually have shut down photosynthesis and broken down the food webs basically and caused extinction. So that's, that's one of the leading ideas and we're looking for evidence as to whether that's correct. Mm -hmm.